Hi and welcome to ScienceWorks. I'm Paul. And I'm Skip. And we're, we're the, the Maestros, Maestros of, of molecules, molecules from the University of Melbourne. We're here today to uncover some of the chemistry of the home. Why don't we go have a look at the House Secrets exhibition to see what we can find. Hi and welcome to the House Secrets kitchen here at ScienceWorks. Hey mate, what were you doing under the sink? Well, today we're in the kitchen doing chemistry experiment to make slime. And I was just looking for some slimy things. In the drain pipes? That's right. All sorts of organisms make slime. And it's called bioslime. Sort of like slimy snails and the mucus in our nose. That's right. They make all sorts of types of slime. But we're going to make slime today that's a little bit different. It's similar to making plastic. Cool. The experiment we're going to do today involves making two types of slime. One non-transparent, which means you can't see through it. And one transparent, which means you can see through it. We have to be careful because some of these chemicals we're going to use today are quite toxic, so we have to use our safety equipment. The two slimes are pretty easy to make, and they both use all of the same ingredients except for two different types of glue. White PBA glue, which will help make the non-transparent slime, and clear PBA glue, which will help make the transparent slime. The first step is to take this glue and make a glue solution by mixing it with water. And the key thing here, like in most chemical experiments, is to get the amounts right. We'll use about 100 mils of glue, and therefore we need to add 100 mils of water. To spice things up, we're gonna add a few drops of different food colored dye, and then stir well to make sure everything is mixed up nicely. Whoa, mate, that looks pretty cool. The next step is to mix water with another chemical that's not really that common. It's called borax. And it's a key ingredient in this experiment because it helps bind and join everything together. To make our borax solution, we add one tablespoon of borax to one cup of water and mix for about 10 minutes. Make sure you're pretty careful with that stuff, Paul. Borax is a toxic chemical. Now it's showtime. I'm going to slowly add our binding agent now, the borax solution, to the coloured glue solutions. And I'm going to continually stir it, even if it gets a little tricky. Oh wow mate, it's all starting to come together. This is pretty exciting. And voila, we have two hunks of gunk. <laughs> all right, so while Skip takes these and gives them a bit of a rinse and a bit of a pat down, I'm gonna explain the science behind it. To understand the chemistry of this type of experiment, let's have a look at one of my favorite things to eat, spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah, that's right, spaghetti. So if we look at the glue we've used really, really closely, we find that it's made up of heaps of molecules. Molecules a bit like this broken up spaghetti. When we added the water, we just added more molecules. Have you heard of H2O? Yeah, so just more molecules. We added them, and these guys just swam around each other, making a nice mixture, a glue solution. Now it's showtime. Remember how we said that borax was a binding solution? Yeah, so when we added it to our glue and water molecules, they all bound together, they linked and joined. A bit like this molecular spaghetti dish, the molecules are linking and joining together to form long interweaving chains, which is a bit similar to how plastics are made. Wow, that's really exciting. Every time I think of spaghetti now, I'm going to think of this super awesome slime we just made. Oh, wow, look, this is really gooey. Definitely not like the mucus in our nose or the slime down the drain pipes. That's right, and if you want to make your own slime at home, talk to your parents or carers and go on the ScienceWorks website and download the Silly Slime Activity Sheet and have fun. Man, I'm hungry now. Well, that's been another chemistry demonstration performed at ScienceWorks by the Maestros of, of molecules. molecules. We hope you've enjoyed exploring the House Secrets exhibition with us today. And we'd really like some feedback on our blog below. Just remember that chemistry's everywhere, so keep an eye out for it. And we're at ScienceWorks, where science really does work. See ya. See ya later.